Very good diary. Hello Jenkins. Um, just a little quick update on what's been happening this week and how I've been coping with the obvious depressions and discrepancies that come with New Year and all of the new anxieties that come hand in hand with the New Year and the celebrations etc. Um, okay, so as, as you definitely might know very recently I had an incident down at the bike shop whereby I lost an ear so um, as time passed I got to terms with it, I got to grips with the situation and I learned to move on but at the same time there was a ground swell there was an underswelling of the situation in the back of my mind whereby I got more and more enthusiastic to retrieve my ear from the shop if it was still there so um, during the tail end of the the festive break I went I took it upon myself to travel back down to the bike shop and of course with no bike in order, with no bike in order, I had to walk, walk, walk has an L in it, walk, not an, not an R, walk down to the bike shop. So, as you probably definitely know, my journey took me from here, um, then from outside the door, I take outside the front door of the house here where I live. I take a, an immediate right. If I go straight ahead, I'd cross a road. For, I'd go down my driveway, cross a road, and hit a fence. On the other side of the fence being the railway track, that's no good. So I'd have to take an immediate right, follow the road, and that would take me to the railway bridge, which, which is a road bridge that goes over above the railway line, which to the east would take you to Ashford or Canterbury and to the west would take you directly to Eastbourne and or Brighton and then up to London if, if you wished but anyhow so I go from there that would take me down to the beach where I'd head towards the bike shop um, past, past that big building that looks like an old ship apparently designed to look like a ship a horrible art deco building yeah not so nice a little bit creepy um, then I'll just walk further along the seafront another mile maybe half a mile I don't know I'm not, what 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 you need to understand you, you thicko what you need to understand is that I'm no expert on time and distance and there's always room for errors but anyhow um, I'd walk past the statue of Queen Victoria which is on the left so I'd have the sea on the right and the silly old statue of Queen Victoria on the left as I'm walking along the seafront um, heading east towards a bike shop towards the pier uh, the pier that was recently bought by um, a rich Arab sheikh Sheikh Golzar who's decided to ornament the pier with um, animals that are spray, spray painted gold in colour and pylons that are spray painted gold in colour which looks rather cheap and tacky despite it I think his his idea his rich idea being that it would make it look expensive because it's painted gold so you see it's, it's a funny funny way of looking at it there he does indeed have a gold car and a gold golf caddy that he keeps on the pier so he doesn't have to walk up and down it because as you can imagine, walking up and down a 150 metre pier must be very difficult for a person. And then I carried on walking along the seafront. Down towards where the pier is, um, past the pier, down past where the, where the castle is, up on the hill, over the road from the beach. The castle with that funny old building in the cliffside there. Our castle not really being much of anything, just pile of bricks on the top of a hill now um, if you go up there there's probably a few walls that are worth looking at but nothing nothing very interesting but I imagine my house would look a bit like that in a thousand years so you can't really imagine a castle to look very good after a thousand years um, then, I, then I carried on down towards the bike shop um, of course 
I'm easily distracted by some of the old buildings that we have around here. Um, some of the old pubs down towards the old part of town. Um, of which there are many. Because it's the old part of town, therefore it has old buildings. You notice the link there between the old, old buildings and the old part of town. That's why it's called the old part of town, because of the old buildings. Or it could be the other way. Maybe they're called old buildings because they're in the old part of town. But one thing's for sure, it is labelled the old town, but houses aren't individually labelled the old buildings. You just say old buildings because you're describing them as old buildings because they're old. So I'm not sure where the correlation is exactly anyhow. So then I continued further down to where the bike shop is. And um, so I, I headed to the bike shop, but it was closed anyway, so that was that. But... I can, I'm getting by without on here, despite the continual balance problems presented to someone who's lost an ear rather suddenly and non-contractually. But that's just how you carry on with life nowadays. Earless, ear-free, and a earful kingdom. Um, <laughs> you could say that instead of the UK, it was the EK. The earless kingdom. <laughs> oh, for me anyway. Because, you know, um, because of the ear situation. Anyway, that's what's happened recently. That's just what's gone down this week. Just one of the many things that's happened. And of course, coping with it goes hand in hand with dealing with it. And that's what's, hap that's what's happened with me and those close to me. Um, of course I have to bring along sometimes into the situations my close friends and my family and those people I'd also dragged into the situation therefore so but who else is going to be there to pick up the pieces I can't expect strangers to walk into my life and to, to go dig in for ears for me do I give them a spade and say go down the beach dig up an ear you stranger I'm not I'm not going to do that do I say to a stranger Risk your life to climb that tree and see if there's an ear up there somewhere. They're not going to do that. Friends and family are the only ones who can take you through, pull you through life in that way to help you succumb to the ears of life. Anyhow, I think that's all from today. I, nothing else has really happened. Just continuing to plod on. Always in the back of my mind, the depressions, anxieties of life. New year and ears. So... Um, thinking about going to the garden centre curiously not actually to do anything about gardens but because it's in a nice area and it would make a nice little trip so that's dead interesting isn't it um, take care I'm going to wind this all up now so have a good weekend and um, if you've got bed bugs you need to replace all your sheets and really treat the mattress pretty sharpish, treat it or just completely replace the mattress. You don't want to be lying on those bugs night after night. They're relentless. They'll cause endless bites. It's, that's not a good situation. And then if they can get any clothes, if you lie on another surface, another bed, you'll just pass the bed bugs onto there. It's, it's, a, it's a situation that you need to get out of. Get out of it quickly. Don't put up with the bed bugs, okay? So, um, see you next time.